Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting video, probably more like a blog style or vlog because I'm going to be going to a workshop and making rope bowls. I've chosen some Liberty Fabrics to go with the project. Uh, I don't really know how much to take so I've just bought a handful. They've said to take coordinating thread and obviously my sewing machine and little notions. So let's go along to the workshop. I shan't film the actual tuition or anything like that because it is a paid for workshop. Um, but I do know there are some tutorials on the internet on how you can make these type of bowls. I've wanted to make one for so long and when I had the opportunity to go to the workshop I thought oh, I've just got to go. You know it's a perfect excuse to have a really nice crafty and sewing day with lots of like-minded people so I'm looking forward to that. My sister's also coming as well so hopefully I'll show you her bowl as well because no doubt it would be quite different to mine. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Honestly why do they make these sewing machines so heavy? <laughs> Well, anyway, this was my sister's fabric that she bought along, lots of lovely autumnal tones, and this is just us unravelling the washing line cord. It came in a 30 metre length and we had to divide it between two, so we just did that. And then to start your basket, you just start in the flat and you do some straight stitches to secure the first coil, and then you actually zigzag around the whole basket to create the basket itself. Now the trick I think is to go as slowly as possible. You do have to extend your stitch width just so that you're catching both sides of the coil. I only broke one needle and that was at the very beginning. I don't know perhaps maybe I had the needle on too long and it was just a bit of a weaker needle but I didn't have any issues with um, needles or anything. I just put a regular needle on my machine. But then I was cautious and I went as slow as I could, also just to make sure I was nice and accurate. I twisted my strips as I went and my sister decided to twist a whole bunch of strips around the rope beforehand and then sew it so she could do one continuous run of sewing, which was quite effective. And this is both of our first little small baskets. So we created a sample basket as a practice and then you can go on to create a larger basket. So I did my first one in pinks and then my second basket was in the reds so again you just coil the fabric round like this it's great for using up scraps um, obviously you will have some fraying on the outside of your basket if you don't use like a zigzag stitch or your fabric is prone to fraying but just adds to a really nice rustic effect of the basket it's now sometime later I'm back home and let me show you what I made so first off we did a small sort of sample tester part just so we could nail our technique. I just love those cute handles. They're not quite exactly the same. This one tends to flop out whereas this one's more up. So what I think I might do is just put a little bit of spray starch on that just to hold it up because some of the other ladies at the group, theirs was a little bit um, looser. So they said that was just going to spray starch it. So I think that's fine to do. I just love that I think it's the perfect size I might put like um, clips in there or any type of sewing notions but don't you just love the fabric I tried to go for pinks but there are some fabrics that have got blues in them and some greens and I use white thread on this I thought I was going to use the pink that I took but some of the examples that the tutor had um, at the group was in white so I thought you know what I'll try it in white seeing as it was the the sample one and then you could then make a larger bowl. So this is the start of my larger bowl. I've got some rope left, so I hope I've got enough to finish it off. If not, I'm going to make more bowls, so I'm going to need more of the rope. So I just love that. This one's using the red thread. And again, I've used fabrics that have got whites and greens in there. So it adds a really nice texture to it. 
they, they were so easy to make you um you twist it up the sewing machine like this you probably will have seen the general gist from the footage that i've included but you pull your bowl up and i thought that would be really hard around like the side of the machine but it's really not it's quite easy to get the hang of it and some of the other ladies at the group they used batiks which were looked so so good i've got lots of batik strips upstairs that i've bought as scraps from the festival of quilts so i'm definitely gonna need more rope let me show you what the rope was now the rope that was used is um, washing line cord so it's cotton rope it's seven mil and it was sold she said as washing line cord but it says here craft projects interiors art projects DIY general use easy to knot so yeah I'm definitely going to be getting some more of that um, here we had 15 meters each so that made this bowl and she says it will make a larger bowl so hopefully it will and it has left quite a dent i had quite a lot of reds actually so again i might have to go rummaging for some more red fabrics now the workshop that i went to is actually based in a quilt group which is in tamworth in the west midlands so if you are local and you wanted to attend a lovely quilt group it's a small group of ladies but they're always happy and welcoming for new members i'll leave the details down in the description of where the quilt the of where the group is held um, but you can just leave me a comment if you are going to attend and I'll perhaps let the group leader know um, but yeah it was a really good group I'll definitely be going back when I can this has just been one of those projects that has been on my sort of bucket list for quite a while and it's really nice just to sit amongst like-minded people and have that dedicated time to do the project um, because you get waylaid don't you at home you think I'm going to do it but you don't get around to it well at least I don't there's always plenty more projects to get on with so I'm going to set up my sewing machine get these finished and um yeah I might film a little bit on the sewing machine because it was a little bit harder to film in the group I didn't want to get other people in the backgrounds of the frame and stuff so I'll film a little bit and I'll show you at the end what they look like so here I am just adding a new strip of fabric on and this has got like an already frayed edge so I'm going to make sure that that is contained within the twist so if you put that towards the bottom then you'll cover it over with the fresh edge so if you don't want too much fraying then you can um, conceal the fraying inside of the wrap you'll see in a moment so the frayed edge is at the bottom and then you're twisting the fabric over secure just with a clip and whilst that dab of glue dries and then just keep twisting it over and you'll cover up the fraying edge obviously the top edge might fray over time but the bottom edge of these were particularly frayed now these were my strips I think they're called ribbons that I bought from Alice Caroline and they're a great sort of size you want about one inch one and a half inch um, but you can go thinner you just means you have to wrap the fabric more times and this is how you create the bowl shape just by bending it up the side of the machine and like I said earlier it was actually really easy to maneuver the bowl so here is both of my finished bowls it's got some ribbon in that's the pink small one with the handles. I did add some starch just to make the handles a little bit stiffer because one was flopping over. So I put quite a bit of spray starch and pinned them into position and just left them to dry overnight. So that's the small one. And then here's the large one. I did also starch this one but because it's Liberty and it is a little bit bigger it is soft it's not um, so soft that you can't use it but if you was to use something other than Liberty it would give it a thicker and stiffer consistency I added a swirl to the side so that's where I sort of went off and then I went down here and then just swirled there and then that's the inside 